the launching of ghost projects. The Public Accounts Committee has openly accused Ruto of launching ghost projects. He purportedly commissioned the lower Zoya irrigation project without the involvement of parent ministries and claimed credit for it. He does not launch the projects as an appropriate uh, and official undertaking. To the contrary, he is driven by an overriding selfish and extraneous objective of promoting his egoistic ambitions to attain the office of uh, president in 2022 by whatever means possible. We also note the issue of unbridled uh, ambition. The deputy president is definitely guilty of public misconduct and grave malpractices and has not lived up to the oath of uh, office that he subscribed to before assuming that office. He has not brought honor to the nation and dignity to the office of the deputy president and has failed to promote public confidence in the integrity of the high office. We are aware even in international media there is mention of his office on a constant basis in the recent past. He had rather rule Kenya than serve the people. He has not offered selfish, a selfless service based solely on the public interest. He is not honest and his personal interests are in constant conflict with his public duties. With this state of affairs, we feel that William Ruto must shape up or ship out. He needs time and undivided attention to pursue the only thing and ambition that makes sense to him and meaning in his life, which is to dream and campaign for his 2022 presidential, uh, whatever, uh, presidential election. So I think that is our position as of now. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. So I will, honorable uh, mess. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will call upon one or two members, starting with Honorable Sabula, MP Lugari, just to make uh, his remarks. A few comments. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to state as follows: the 2010 Constitution gives procedure under which power can be transferred, and the instruments of power were transferred to one person. That is President Uhuru Kenyatta. The instrument of power of a nation are not co-shared between the president and deputy. There is no co-president in this country. Ruto must respect the institution of presidency, respect the holder of the office, or ship out. We want a cohesive country. We don't want to drive this country like Somali, like Rwanda, like Sudan. Thank you so much. Yeah, lastly, I will call upon Honorable Kanini Kega. Asanti, nitasema kukisaidi, niseme kwamba sisi wote tumekuja hapa ambao ni viongozi katika gazi zote za bunge, katika bunge la seneti na bunge la kitaifa, na pia viongozi kutoka vya mabalibari zote ambazo tuko katika taifa hili. Na ya muhimu ni niseme kwamba tumekuja kwa sababu tumefedheshwa sana na matamshi ambayo yametolewa na, na, na naibu rais wa jamhuri yetu ya Kenya. Ya kwanza kwa zile idara zote ambazo zinafanya uh, katika jamhuri hii yetu, kianzia na idara ya DCI ambayo ameika chifu sana, idara ya wa, wa, um, idara ya DPP ambayo inaongozwa na Nurdin Haji na pia kuika chifu ofisi ya rais kusema kwamba wale ambao wanafanya kazi katika ofisi ya rais wana muadamu niseme kwamba ukichaguliwa kama naibu wa rais kazi yako ni usaidizi wa rais lakini vile tunaona hivi majuzi badala ya kuwa msaidizi wa rais amekuwa ni kuhujumu kazi ambayo inafanywa na rais na sisi kama viongozi lazima tuseme kwa sababu wakati unachukua kiapo ama unakula kiapo Unakula kiapo ya kusaidia rais lakini vile tumeona matamshi yake miendendo yake wale ambao wanahusika na yeye marafiki wake wa karibu hawajakuwa na mienendo sawa sawa na ndivyo tunamwambia kama hataki kufanya kazi na rais kama hataki kufanya kazi kwa kiapo kile alichokula ni vizuri kama mtu ambaye anaheshimu sheria kama hutaki kufanya kazi na yule ambaye mumekula kiapo pamoja basi ile kitu rahisi ni kukaa kando 
Kwa hivyo niseme kwamba na nasema kwa niaba ya wabunge wengi ambao tumekuwa kwa muda mwingi sana tumenyamaza mambo yakienda sekemneke mambo yakiharibika hapa na pale na tunajua ni nani anahujumu mambo yote ambayo inafanyika katika serikali kwa hivyo hii ni laani tunatoa kusema kwamba hatutanyamaza tena mtu achukue jukumu lake kama we ni mbunge fanya jukumu lako kama we ni msaidizi wa mtu fulani wewe kuwa ni msaidizi wa huyo mtu lakini isikuwe wewe unajitwika jukumu ambalo katiba haijakupea kwa hivyo sisi tumebakia miaka miwili kwenda uchaguzi na ni vizuri tuseme kwamba wakati huu wa Kenya wanagojea wafanyiwe kazi na hatuwezi kuwa na siasa kila kuchao kutoka juma 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 jumamosi mpaka jumamosi ile ingine kutoka asubuhi mpaka usiku tunataka kuwafanyia kazi wa Kenya kwa sababu tuna ile ahadi zile nne haswa ambazo tuliwapatia wa Kenya kwa hivyo ni vizuri wale ambao wana, na wanajitua wale ambao hawafanyi kazi ni siasa peke yake wajue kwamba wakati wao umekwisha Asante so I thank you for your questions you are not having questions thank you thank you thank you